Can I help? No, you can't. I'll be done soon. The Raffins left her crooked as a bag of snakes. Did you sleep all right? Can't complain. And you? Reasonably rested? I think you had nightmares. He screamed a few times. Really? Don't worry. I'm accustomed to that sort of thing. When Mitch and Scorpion came back from the war, they tossed and turned night after night. For months this went on. Whatever it is, it'll pass. Yeah, let's hope so. Come up with anything? For Hellman, I mean. As a matter of fact, I did. Look here. Okay, tell me. We're the wrench. The cutter is the AV. And a screwdriver is where the AV should bury its nose cone in the dust. Now, you must be wondering how we get the AV to do that. That old HMG of yours. My gun will be useful elsewhere. This caliber would barely dent the armor of a heavy hitter like that. There are other ways. Here. The clamps are solution. A Satwave power station. Why down the AV there, at that exact spot? Because once it's on the ground, we'll have to locate it and grab your target. As fast as we can. And the terrain there is typical California desert. Flat, dry, and empty. There'll be a big old sitting duck. Power station. Wait. You want to use an EMP? Bullseye. But how? We can't generate that sort of pulse on command. Would you like to bet me? We drive up to the power collection unit, break in and override the controls, lift any limiters. As soon as the AV is in range, we set off the electromagnetic turbo pulse. This should smoke the AV systems. The drive. Nav systems. Communications. Everything. Out like a light. They won't stand a chance in hell. Aren't you, uh, county chickens? We can't actually know the AV will fly over the station. Of course we can. But we don't have to. You'll see. It's bound to be quite a ride, but not one you'll regret. I've got everything planned out. Remember, need Hellman alive, unharmed. Gotta try not to blow the AV to bits, okay? I know, but I'd say your man had best be buckled in. This idea, if it works, you'll be in for a rough landing. All right, let's ride. Great, hop in. It's cold out here. Who owns this power station? Gov or Corp? Is there any difference? Who do you think pulls the government's strings? Hey, I'm just wondering whose toes we're about to step all over. V, look around. It is simple. Everything you see is owned by a corporation. You like to mess with the corpse, huh? Whatever gave you that idea. Or wait. Scratch that. Rogue, Nash, the Raffins. You're on thin ice, B. You just like to mess with everyone. Well, then I suppose it's a good thing I'm on your side, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And now for something completely different. Weirdest thing you've ever transported. Go. Cause me, I had to carry a real Gannic Iguana once. Seriously? A live one? Yup. Someone put him in a deep sleep, packed him in a cooler. <laughs> no idea why, but man, I made a shitload off that job. Your turn. Think you can beat that? The deputy finance director of Calcas. Whoa. I'd say it's a tie. Dead. In the trunk. Okay, fine, you win. We've almost reached the dam. We'll make a quick stop here. We need to calibrate you with a turret. I want you to be able to use the gun, too. It should up our chances in general. Connect here. Do we really have to waste our time on this? We do. Unless you've already used one of these without help, while moving, while taking fire from all directions, and still managed to hit something. 
But somehow, I don't believe that's the case. So don't argue. Just connect. How should I connect? Personal link? How else? Just watch the jack. Sometimes you have to jig a little bit. Wired in. Wait a moment. Diagnostics first. Shit, it keeps giving me an error. Odd. Let me work around it. And now, Pan Am, here's Johnny. Out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Great work, V. Hey, uh, I think your implant has a virus. The one in the nape of your neck. Uh, I've got a bioprocessor in my head that operates independently of me. Probably why your diagnostics flagged it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But no data will leak out of it through the personal link. Your ride's secure. Fine. I trust you won't fuck anything up. Okay. Here goes nothing. See that pile of junk? Fire a short burst into it. I'll take care of the calibration. Good. Next target. Single shot. Okay. Just one more. Longer round. Great. We're done, I think. And that wasn't so bad, was it? Calibration's fine, but your soft could really use an update. Scanner, controllers, all a couple hey, of generations Adrian, back at least. Please wait until we're done calibrating. There's better tech in the bargain bin at a kabuki flea market. I can help you with that, you know. Yes, sure. The most important thing is that it works now. So where's this power station? You will see in a moment. I know a spot. We'll have a decent view from there. I just want to be sure the area is clear. Sabotage a corpo power station. Jump a corpo transport. Kidnap a corpo suit. Is this a plug for the word corpo, or do you have a point? Know what? You're starting to remind me of me. Fifty years back. Minus the charisma. An impressive cock. Hmm. Maybe we can just get along. Could be something to that, I suppose. What happened to us, it must have had some effect. You're more like me than you think. You'll see. But it goes both ways. Maybe you're becoming more like me. Nah, no way. All looks clear. The area looks deserted. I see no patrols. The huge thing is the collection unit. And see the antennas? Each antenna collects microwave energy from satellites in orbit. That's then converted into electric power. Power stations serve the whole city? Honestly? Who the fuck knows? Guess we're about to find out. Antennas run a ways down the interstate. We set off a chain reaction that starts in the collection unit. Then each antenna will emit a massive EMP burst. While our AV flies right into our net. We just have to send out the pulse at the right moment. Let's go get her. When we arrive at the station, you overload the systems. I'll set up a bypass link for the detonator. Overload the system? Yes, ma'am. When do I start? Though, hoping that's not too complicated. Is it? It shouldn't be. You just turn everything up as far as it'll go. Crank it up to 11. Got it. So what now? We wait. We should time our arrival to the AV flight plan. Got it. Good. Time to roll. Done anything like this before? Downing an AV? By myself? No. Why do you ask? Thought you would have done something like this with your clan. No. We did take back one of ours from a convoy once. But this, what we're doing now, the risk is so much greater. You don't miss it? What? Jobs like this? Being in a clan, being part of a family. I could ask you the same. How do you feel, all on your own? Yeah. Sometimes wonder what life would be like, back with the clan. And? And the price is always too damn high. Hmm. I believe I understand.
Okay, we'll be there in a moment. One last time. We drive in, fuck up the system, and get the hell out of there. Hold on tight. This could get a little bumpy. Get ready. Okay, I'm ready. Deal with them. Deal quick before they hit us! Get rid of those drones, B! What do you think I'm doing? Do it better! B! Either you focus or they fuck us! Get all of them. Mm-hmm. Provided we hurry. Find the controls. I'll connect the detonator. Quick, V. Ah, shit! Come on. Breathe. Ah, ah shit! I think we might have overdone it, Pan Am. Girl, you train. wanted 11. You got Fuck 11. yeah. Let's get out of here before it lights us up, too. V, get the fuck out before something happens to the chest. Thanks for the tip. You know, I was just about to set up a picnic. Maybe lay out. Work on my mean base, Dan. Watch out. The next one might... Johnny? Johnny? Fucking hell. Okay, I'm fine. It's... it's okay, just... it's okay, I'm fine. Yeah. Just... Delta the fuck out. Not the cleanest job, perhaps, but it still went well. What about the detonator? Is it working? Yes, it's working. And I don't even see a drop in the signal strength. We just need to drive far away enough to keep the pulse from blasting us, too. The cliff there. We'll set up. It should give us a good view of the antennas. And then we wait. Okay. Here. Always wanted to push the big red button on something like this. How do we know when? Don't worry. I'll have eyes on it. You just wait for my signal, then set off that pulse. They won't know what hit them.
And by the way... What? We are about to knock a multi-million euro dollar Kang Tao asset clean out of the sky. How does that make you feel? Blast and shit. Exactly what the doc ordered. And that's exactly what I like to hear. Just noticed. What? It's quiet. The hum of the city, people's voices, the smells. It's all gone. Wind just intensifies it. Think I forgot quiet exists. Mm-hmm. Though maybe not the smells. I mean, the coyotes. Rather hard to miss. Thought that was just the air freshener in your Thornton. Ha ha. Screw you. You'd do better to focus on the AV. Keep your eyes open. It's there, coming from Pacifica. All right, get ready. One more second. One more. Now! Boom. There she is. Shit! What's happening? Fuck. Fucking hell. Bullseye! Pan Am, the engines are still running. Fuck, they're getting away. They're going nowhere. We gotta go after it. Give me a moment. Pan Am, what are you doing? That's how you do it! It's losing altitude! We got the bastard! Let's go! We got it! No way it stays in the air after a blast like that! You catch that? Over. AV. Unmarked. Losing out. There. What the hell Finishing up at the generators. Follow them. On my way in a bit. Battery Mission should sort Scorpion. itself out. Pan Am, don't go near that AV. I repeat, do not approach the AV. Mm -hmm. On the way, or I'll start the party without you. It's Kang Tao. Wait for me, or better get the hell out. They probably want to help the survivors. Without knowing it's corporate. They can't hear me. The pulse is interfering. Drones? Yes. Get ready. They're trying to slow us down. We won't let them. We have to reach Mission Scorpion. Behind that hill. Well, one less thing to worry about. Ugh. Pan Am, you okay? A fucking ricochet. Think you can manage? Sure. I'll live. Don't worry. Hey, man, where are you? Hello? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Scorpion? Keep broadcasting over an open channel, just in case they missed you the first time. God, I swear. Something's not right. Did you hear those shots? Fee, something happened to them. Let's check it out. I see the wreck, but no scorpion or Mitch. Looks expired. Fuck it. Ugh. 
V, connect to the drone. We'll scan the area. We have to get our bearings. Let's roll. You connecting to visual? Mm-hmm. V, if they got the Aldecaldus, if they got Mitch and Scorpion, I can't... I don't... No, I know. Connected. I'm in control. Sorry. Your clan? Alta Caldos. Yes. They're dead. All of them. They... Don't worry. We don't know They've for sure. They've the launcher. The... Mitch! He's alive! They have them! Can we take it down somehow? Maybe. But we have to get there first. Got five Kangs on patrol. Combat drones. Defense systems active. If not for those damned glitches, I could have warned them! This is all my doing! Why in the hell were they following the AV? The fools! Listen, we saw Mitch. They probably got Scorpion too. We'll find them. Help them out. If they're still alive... They're alive. Everything's gonna be okay. Mind that launcher. It will blow us to bits if we approach. Okay, here's the plan. You stay in the car, No, I... not so fast. I will go with you. Those are my people. Pan Am. Hate to break it to you, but you're hurt. Wait in the car. I'll try and take out the launcher. I... Fine. But I have Mitch's rifle. And we'll try to cover you from here. Good idea. Let's move. They will regret this.
That's clear. I'm coming for you. Open the door. I'll cover you. Now! Step back! Back! Toss your weapons, or I'll shoot! I repeat, drop your weapons, now! Easy now. Not too late for everyone to walk out of this alive. We called for backup! Bullshit! Last chance. You don't gotta die today. Let's talk. Who should I believe you? Pan Am. Shoot Shut him. up! Listen. This isn't about you. Let him go, and tell me where I, your passenger is. I, I don't know where they took him! Hell no! He's lying! Look you, you got two seconds to make up your damn mind. Alda Caldos will ride up here I, any minute now. They headed west, for the gas station. But I can't guarantee they're still there. You remember the Shut cowboy. Shut the fuck up! You? Fuck! Pan Am! God damn it! Oh shit. Are you alright? Uh, just some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? Hang on, girl. I'll pet it's you up. nothing. Let's go. We couldn't retreat, Pan Am. They regrouped so fast. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Everyone? Scorpion, is he here? Mitch? Mitch? He's... He's safe, Pan right? Pan Am, I'm sorry. I didn't make it in time. No. No! Are you sure? No, he... Scorpion, the rest. I'm sorry we didn't get here sooner. They were good people. Great people. They didn't have to die here. I should have stopped him. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. Stubborn bastard. I'm guessing since you were out here, you were out here for the AV. The question is why? Why dive straight for the AV? Didn't notice the markings? We saw it was damaged. We know this land. We knew where it would fall. We had no idea it was Kang Tao. I figured they might need help. In the worst case, there'd be good salvage to be had. Couldn't have been more wrong. Everything okay? You need anything? Thanks for saving my ass, V. Sorry about your people, but I need to keep moving. I need the man who was riding this AV. Pilot said they headed west. Yep. Took him with them. In our cars. Pilot was telling the truth. There's an old gas station out there. Must be looking for a way to call base. So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Yeah, we tried to warn you, but... Couldn't connect. What's the plan now, V? Pan Am, listen. I know it's not the best time, but I need Hellman. You promised to help. That still hold? I always keep my word. Mitch, 
I will find those sons of bitches. I swear. Go. I'll call the crew. Get all this cleaned up. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun. It likes to jam. We'll go by bike. Sounds good. If they made it to the station, they're probably waiting on backup. Better hurry. But Pen Am... What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. Let's get going. Before they send a rescue party. Scorpion and the rest. Look, I know how you feel. I mean it. I'll help you settle your score with Kang Tao. I will destroy them, V. Every last one. We're in this together. To the bitter end. You know what, V? You're all right. You help me with Nash, you help me with Mitch. To my mind, I owe you a favor. Your Hellman. I will find him. Ah, so that's what this is? Just paying your debts? No. Nomads always help Oh, them. so I'm one of yours now. Sounds good. Let's delta to that station. Hope you know a shortcut. Mm-hmm. Get ready. The bikes are fine. Hop on. some sort of prototype. I think it was Militech. You don't remember? Anyway, chased a guy through three states, only to fish his body up out of the lake. Killed himself? Doubt it. I think they hit him with a virus. Anyway, lost control. Probably suffocated before he could drown. That is fucked up. You stop thinking about all that sad shit for a moment, right? Trolls. Definitely set up shop here. I see. They must have Hellman locked up somewhere. Buffy, see that? The pump. The bastards might have managed to call for transport. We'll know soon enough.
tapahtuu. Men. Helmet, he has to be here. Shoot, I'm unarmed. The hell are you doing here? This is my station. Name's Marty. Those fucking suits rode up like they owned the place. Took everything. Put me here and locked the door. Don't look too concerned. Ain't my first rodeo. Once the dust falls, the problems disappear one way or another. I just dust myself off and get back to work. Brought a man with them, and I need civility. You must have spotted him. Mm -hmm. I ain't blind. Where are they holding him? Old garage. Room upstairs. Probably keeping them there. Thanks. I were you, I'd stay put for a few. Exactly my intention. Know where they're keeping Hellman. Going in. Okay. Covering you. Know what they wanted? Anything? 
Had some sort of accident. Wanted to call someone in town. <sighs> Tell me they didn't. Like to hear that, wouldn't you? Not your lucky day, boy. One grabbed my collar, another grabbed my phone out of my pants. Made a call, waiting for more of their own to show. Shit. You even get any customers out of here? Shit, anyone even drive this way? Anyone who don't like refueling with cameras watching them? Not many, sure, but they're all big tippers. You get me? In exchange for your terrible memory. <laughs> don't you worry, I'll forget you too. Hey, easy. We gotta talk. Who are you working for? You're a noble Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back? Pathetic rats got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of the lifelines. Shut him up already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan of him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Don't take this personally. So you recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got Hellman. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Hellman, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive? What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talk of now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry arrived. Mitch gathered together a few old helmets. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thank thee and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. Saul, I tried to raise Scorpion. Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? 
look so It really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that AV got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're Ronaldo Caldo, you were always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still an Aldo Caldo. Damn it all! Glad to see you, Mitch, but why'd you even come? Saul, he came with our people. We took care of the bodies, I told him what happened, and he told us to up and follow you. He was worried something would happen to you, to Pan Am. Saul? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family. And Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you, you look out for yourself, all right? So, what now? Back to Night City? Yeah. I mean, I think so. I have to sit and think about everything. Saul, Mitch, they really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. Is this place? Motel, middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? I want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arasaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. Nobody sent me. I got a problem, and you're gonna help me. And what does that have to do with the biochip? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that... None of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine print. Constructed, that's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Cut it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out. And drive. you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said- You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was down in a Kang Tao AV? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware. Aggressive? The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. 
The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Were you planning to have the engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? Yes, which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. How do you put a price on immortality? Who can even afford tech like this? Nobody. This model was meant to remain in-house. The prototype was Saburo Arisaka's personal commission. He oversaw the entire project himself. So if it weren't for Yorinobu, nobody would have found out. And if not for you, the project would not have been a success. This is a true breakthrough. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Seuss the one who's gonna help us. Oh, fuck. What? What is it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, a real shame. You could have been his guinea pig too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do... Woohoo, it's bargaining time. ...is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against this. And no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me, what's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You're both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. When it comes to my decisions, Johnny really is just a voice in my head. Maybe he has a different opinion, but he can't make me do anything. Agree 100%. You are one fucking stubborn It's not host. as if one of you wins the debate. The scale simply shifts, slowly but surely. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny... Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. No wood, that's enough. You're just playing for time, because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? So I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Oh, finally. I will try to help you, if you come with me to Kangtao. I'll try, just isn't gonna cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese, at my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, 
The data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. What a half-brain gonk. He just admitted you're right. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got the gonks fucking useless without him. The... Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. What'll you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. He's all yours. Give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certain. Only in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Oh, this heat. The throat is positively parched. <coughs> See that? Fuck me. Just look at that. Unacceptable. Inhumane. Sons of bitches. You really are paranoid. You don't see it? Way corps are stripping our world and lives naked, piece by piece? Can't turn a blind eye to that. This is the part where you divulge your master plan to annihilate Arasaka? No. It's the part where I say I despise petty merc thieves who think they're hot shit rebels after setting foot in the afterlife. My Think you took on Arasaka, but you're just a bug they scraped off the sole of their boot and tossed in the trash. This is the most inept terrorist in human history. Need I remind you how you let Arasaka crush your soul and put you here? A nomad could never understand what it means to fight for the city, die for it. You seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seen flashes of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine. Honestly, I'm scared of the day I'll start seeing your memories as my own. Shit, if it's a two-way street, I'll somehow have to live with the fact that I let Deshaun best me. Fuck me over. I find life under my skin. Well, most things are either too big or too small. Not to mention the clusterfuck that are your hormones. And the lag between sight and touch. Infuriating. 
When you take a bite of pizza, it takes ages before I know you fucking burn the roof of your mouth. Plus, it used to be five minutes wouldn't before I had a fresh cig in my hand. Now I'm itching for nicotine. Getting used to it, I guess. But it's no fucking picnic. So listen, will, will I notice a change, or is it one of those things where I wonder why I ever feared it? Worst thing you can do to a human, rip their identity out of them. That's all I know. Can you just tell me what you want? What you really want? Help me settle my score against Arasaka. That's it. Let's get out of here. Not having control. You can't stand it. Seeing some things are out of your hands. Don't be ridiculous, V. Whole world used to revolve around Silverhand. Now, no one gives a shit. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? Alright. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and empty pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Might be right. Can't really argue with you there. V, I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? John, take a sec. We got it. Do whatever it takes to stop them, defeat them, gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Johnny. Fucking hell. You still don't see it. But you will one day.